Hello everybody and welcome to our daily flab fighting tips with me. I am Donna aka Bella Diamond at Burlesque Cheer Dance. Um, now we always start these videos by telling you that these tips are not suitable for children, which obviously they are not, and they are only aimed towards anybody trying to slim down and lose weight for Fit Feb. Now this week I've had a lot of talking to the dancers, I've been talking to all of our instructors, um, and we've had a lot of, you know, lots of supported. I've been watching the videos, I've been watching all my classmates, and there's been a couple of comments, just like, I don't understand why she looks like that on day 17 and I don't. Oh, nothing horrible, it's just a general observation. Or how come that she's got, and she's so tall and, um, and nothing's working for, I don't understand. Now we always say, don't compare yourself against anybody else. And in the diet and the fitness world, that is absolutely hugely important because not everybody is the same guys everybody is different and there are actually three different body types and depending what body type you are will depend on the type of diet that you need to be on the type of training that's going to work best for you um but it's also going to answer those questions for you as well so that's what i want you to do today is start looking at your body and um, instead of looking at everybody else's body instead okay because that's how we're going to win and that's how we're going to get progress so i'm going to start by explaining to you the three body types. Now women, since we've been little, we've heard these words being banded about by our mums. Oh, she's an apple. Oh, she's a pear. Um, well, yeah, all right then, absolutely get that. But in the fitness world, there are three body types. And that's what I'm going to talk to you about today. So when I show you this picture, what I want you all at home to do is have a look and decide in your head, which one's you? Okay, that's going to really help you in a moment. So there are three specific body types. Now we've got over here the ectomorph, we've got our mesomorph, and we've got our endomorph. So just have a quick look at those three figures there, guys. I mean, you can tell all three of them are absolutely gorgeous, but have a look at the type of body. Which one would best describe you? Okay, and now I'm going to break them down for you and we're going to discuss it a little bit more. So we're going to start by talking about our ectomorph. Now our ectomorph, I just want to make sure that I've got a decent enough picture for you. There we go. Ectomorphs are characteristically, characteristically, um, tall and slim. They're not all tall, but characteristically, main trait is being very tall, very slim. Now, they're very lucky because they do have a very high metabolism. However, the ectomorphs will struggle to gain muscle. Okay, so they've got that very high metabolism. They're going to burn all their calories off super, super fast, but they want to tone, they want to build muscle, and they want to put, you know, added curves via muscle. Now, your ectomorphs, we're talking about Ginny Fonda, okay? Ginny Fonda is an ectomorph. Very tall, very slim frame. Now, with an ectomorph, guys, if you're at home and this is you, and you're looking in the mirror and you're looking at everybody else and they're toning down, and you're thinking, yeah, I don't want to lose weight, I just want to tone up, I want to increase my curves and my figure, okay? What you guys need to do is eat more, a lot more. Now, we're talking about eating good stuff. Don't eat crap. It's not going to help you out, guys. You need something with a nutritional content and a good nutritional value. So if you are an ectomorph, you need to eat more protein. Protein feeds muscles. However, you also need your good carbs. Now, we've talked a lot about carbohydrates. And what we've not done yet is try and break them all up because I don't want to confuse you all. And that's the problem when you start looking into nutrition is they'll take one food group and then they'll break it down into five more. Um, and all you end up doing is getting super, super confused. So not all carbs are bad for you, okay? Um, now, the types of carbs that we've told you are bad for you is anything with white flour in. Yeah, it's dirty. It's really, really bad for you. Stop doing that. Cakes biscuits, crackers, white bread, pizza, burger buns, nah, all of that is super bad for you. Good carbs, those are the ones that we like and those are made out of whole grain mainly, whole grain rice, even some whole grain bread is actually really good for you, especially if you are an ectomorph because having those good carbs inside your body, it's going to keep you full for longer and believe it or not, those good carbs push the protein towards your muscle. So Ginny Fonda and anybody else that's super slim and nice and tall and you want to build that muscle, you want to have a good carb in your diet. Don't go overboard and don't be going anywhere those bad naughty carbs, we don't like those. Whole wheat, really, really good for you, okay? But more than anything, what you need is protein. Now, you can get protein from eggs, yogurt, 
dairy, meat, but the best way as an ectomorph to build that muscle and to build it quickly is protein shakes. Now, there is a really good range of protein shakes on the market. Please stay away from Herbalife and Juice Plus and places like that. And please go with a really good, well-known sports brand. USN are fantastic. Big fan of Grenade. Um, my little brother actually owns a supplement company called Lumberjack Subs. And I can put you in touch with him. So if you are an ectomorph, protein shakes are good. Otherwise, leave them alone, guys. You women, you don't need them. So unless you're going to be working out for two, three hours a day and you are not an ectomorph, leave them alone. Walk away from them, okay? Um, so it's what we actually call, with the ectomorphs, they're called hard gainers, which basically they find it hard to gain muscle. Yeah, very high metabolism. You must eat much, much more. You can eat twice as much as me, Ginny Fonda. <laughs> Not impressed. Okay, but protein is the key and good carbs, whole wheat. That's what's gonna help you to build that muscle up, tone up, and just try and create some of those curves that you're dying for, okay? So we're gonna move away from your ectomorph and we're gonna go on to the middle one as well. So the middle one is what we call a, I fixed up the carbs. The middle one is what we call a mesomorph. Now you can look at this one here and a mesomorph is what everybody looks at and you're like, oh, Brittany. You know, you've got that really nice sort of like wide shoulders, quite slim hips. Now with your mesomorph, and you know, I am really lucky, I come from a family of mesomorphs. So there's me, there's my older brother, there's my younger brother. And all three of us, we fall into the mesomorph category. Now if you're a mesomorph, what it actually means is yes, you can gain weight. Guys, trust me, I can get proper fat. But when you are a mesomorph, it actually means that you bounce back very, very quickly. So you can all see me put on half a stone in a week. You can all see me lose it in a week. We lose weight really, really quickly because it's a natural, athletic, muscular, lean build. It's our genes. It's genetic, guys. So if you're at home and you are a mesomorph, well done. Welcome to the club. doesn't mean that you can eat what you like, guys. Trust me, we really, really can't. We will gain weight like everybody else. What it does mean is that we're going to lose it quicker. But uh, we're going to be the type that struggles to maintain it, okay? Because we know that we can lose it just as quick as that. I've always got in the back of our mind, nah, come off, it'll be absolutely fine, don't you worry. Now, if you are a mesomorph, um, high protein, high protein, good carbs, everything in moderation because the minute you start to overeat again it's going to come on and it's going to come on bloody quickly as well all right now protein shakes not required and um, protein shakes will actually help the muscles to repair after exercise as well as build the muscle but if you are a mesomorph you are already naturally blessed with good muscle so again you want to be high protein lowish good carbs everything in moderation guys okay so remember we are going to bounce back but we're going to be the type that struggles to maintain it so it's important for us that we get into that diet we get into a habit let's call it an healthy healthy eating plan but we're the ones that need to be watching what we eat to maintain that figure so if you've been looking at facebook and you've been watching videos of all your classmates and you go oh my god you look great wow that'll be mesmerized guys yeah now, the last one, uh, last but not least, is what we call an, an endomorph. Now, your endomorphs, this is your hourglass figure. This is the likes of the beautiful Claire Keeling, Beth MacDonald, you know. I mean, they come out at all oh, tiny little ways and then back out again they come. Now, if you was to say that to most endomorphs, they'd actually hate it. And they'd go, oh my God, I've just got the fat figure. No, you don't, guys. You can still trim down and you can still have the figure that you want, but it is really important for you guys to understand your body type, to do that research and to eat and exercise accordingly, okay? Now, I have made some notes because this one is probably one of the most complicated ones, but I'm going to make this as simple as physically possible for you. So if you are an endomorph, you do have a slightly wider body. It's what some people will call big boned. Um, you will be slightly stocky built, but the main key thing is here that your body stores fat. This is naturally what your body does, okay? It takes the fuel that you put in and it goes, cheers then, I'm gonna keep that in my, uh, in my petrol gauge, I'm gonna put another cupboard on and I'm gonna hang on to that nice and tight. Now, you can still be 
natural athletes, you can still lose weight. And one of the other things, and this is an interesting thing, is that endomorphs will naturally also have a much higher muscle mass than the rest of us mere mortals, okay? So you might look in the mirror and go, oh, I'm big boned and I get fat really quick. Whoa. You've got more muscle than me, yeah? Naturally, you have more muscle than me, which should mean that you have a higher metabolism than me. Now, what's holding that back for you is that you will naturally store fat quite naturally it's what your body does so because you're storing fat it's counteracting the fact that your body has a much higher muscle mass than mine but your body stores more muscle than mine which is sort of bringing it out even so what we need to trick your body into doing is getting rid of some of that fat and stop storing it to let your muscles increase your metabolism and let them do the job for you okay so there's a lot of science in it, guys, but I don't want to confuse you. I'm trying to keep everything for you as simply as we can, okay? So I would actually say that out of all the three body types, the endomorph um, has the better deal because you've got the strength advantage out of all three. You've got more muscle than us, um, but you struggle to stay lean because your body naturally stores weight and it stores it as fat, okay? So you do need to be a lot more strict than the rest of us, guys. I'm very, very sorry. And I'm going to explain to you how. Number one, cardio. Cardiovascular exercise for endomorphs is the way forward. Whenever you do cardio, and think about all my girls, I know you're watching the video, you did not, but on a Thursday, Thursdays are cardio days. And what we do is we go fast, we go furious, because building up your cardiovascular system, building and increasing your heart rate makes you burn fat, fast. Okay, now you still want to be doing your daily chair challenges, guys, and it's still a good idea to be lifting weights and whatnot. But when you guys go to the gym, let's say, for instance, when I go to the gym, I will do a 20 minute warm up doing my cardio, then I'll go and do 40 minutes weights. If you are an endomorph, you need to tip that the other scale, guys. You'd want to go out and do 20% weights. 40% cardio because you are an endomorph. So what I want you all to do at home, if you are an endomorph, speed up your daily challenges, turn it into a cardio workout as well. And don't skip cardio Thursdays. Now, diet wise guys, because we've talked about your body stores fat, it is a good idea for an endomorph to lower their fat increase. Now, I feel really naughty because I started off the daily fat fighting videos going, fat does not make you fat. Fat doesn't make you fat, guys. However, eating too much fat could slow down the rate at which we cut your fat out and which we burn that fat off you, just for endomorphs. So when you're going out shopping, switch from full fat milk to semi-skimmed. If you're buying some yogurts, buy low-fat yogurts. And it's just about making some healthy changes, being aware that you are an endomorph and putting too much fat into your body type is going to slow down your weight loss, okay? Now, I'm not saying, oh my God, you need to go fat-free. Nothing like that. Just slow it down, yeah? Now, high protein, absolutely very high protein. And endomorphs, low, low, low carbs. Sorry, guys really, really, really low carb. But the carbs that you are allowed are good carbs. Those are the only ones you can have. So you must switch white rice to wholemeal, white bread to wholemeal. No cakes, no biscuits, no Jaffa cakes. There's no nutritional content in any of that crap, okay? So you do need to be a little bit stricter, but it is achievable. It is so achievable just by knowing and accepting, I'm an endomorph. I need to go and do cardio more than anything else. And I need to go really low carb, really low carb. And cutting out a lot of fat is going to be good for me as well. Now, the other interesting thing about endomorphs, guys, is that your bodies don't react very nicely to stress, do they? And you already know this, okay? So if you're here, you're at home, you're an endomorph, you're nodding with me right now going, I don't react nice to stress. I don't like stress. Stress levels can cause, and I'm reading the science here, stress levels can cause endomorphs to keep fat around your midsection. Do you know what, guys? I can relate. Um, so to help you with this, you want to avoid overdoing it in life in general. So if you've got a really high stress job, make sure that you've got something in your life when you get home that's going to relax you as well. OK, um, so just be careful, endomorphs, when you get stressed out, that can cause your body to go into fat storing mode as well. But like we said, you've got the higher muscle mass out of all of us. 
And when your muscles are bigger, your metabolism, your metabolism and the rate that you burn calories is higher. All we've got to do is trick your body into not storing as much fat to then kickstart that metabolism, get everything up and working for you. Okay. So there's a couple of things I want you to take out of this. First one, look, which one are you? Yeah. Are you an ectomorph? Are you tall and slim? Eat more, not crap. You, you ones here, you are the guys that want your protein shakes after exercise, yeah? Then we've got our middle of the range group. This is our mesomorphs. Don't be jealous, guys, because trust me, we put on weight really, 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 really quick. The good thing for us, though, is that we will lose it very quick as well. So for us, low carb, high protein, everything in moderation, high protein, good carbs. You can actually eat a lot of good carbs, not the bad stuff, guys. And you guys want to be doing your protein shakes and you want to be eating little and often throwing in some really good snacks. OK, and then we've got our endomorphs. Don't feel bad for being an endomorph. You've got the most muscle out of all three of us, yeah? But you need to be aware that your body will store fat much, much quicker than anybody else. Cardio for your endomorphs. Mix and move, mix of both here. For us right in the middle as metamorphs. Ectomorphs, you should be slowing down your daily challenges. Because high resistance and weight training, that's where it's at. Daily challenges, you're using your entire body weight instead of picking up a weight. So it is high resistance training. And you guys are the ones that want to slow it down. Take your time. Make it perfect. Speed it up. Turn it into cardio. Us in the middle. Everything in moderation. So please, guys, next time you log onto Facebook and you start looking at your mates' videos, and I know you've all been super, super supportive, don't start thinking, well, why haven't I lost as much as you? Start thinking, aha, that's because I'm that body type. Do some research. Google it, guys. All the information is on there, and you'll be amazed. Um, and one of the good things about knowing your body type um, is that it's really going to inspire you. It's going to motivate you. So please go on and have a look. If you've got any questions, come and see me. And I want to very quickly, again, just discuss protein shakes. If you are an ectomorph, Jenny Fonda, get those protein shakes down you. You need as much protein as physically possible, okay? If you are not an ectomorph and you're female and you're not working out for two hours a day, five days a week, save your money and buy a decent food shop. Don't waste it on protein shakes. You don't need it. Thank you guys. I'm going to be doing lots more videos this week um, and I just want to quickly apologise. It is day 17 and I know that day 16 is missing um, because I actually spent the weekend doing it on takeaways but I did it on my partner's phone and when we watched the videos backwards yesterday it zoomed in. I just can't, I can't post them. Absolutely gutted. So Sophie, I promise you, all of those uh, takeaway ones, they are coming for you, especially this weekend. I am on it for you. And you're all doing an amazing job for Mind UK, and I'm super, super proud. I'm watching your videos and everything all day. Please talk to me. You can contact me, info at burleschairdance.co.uk. Um, or very simply, just message one of our Facebook pages. We'd love to chat. Bye, guys. Good luck. Well done. Keep up the good work.